Robert Frost said, I'm not a teacher, I'm an awakener. And I think that's just it. You know, inside every child is this amazing potential, this amazing ability. And it's finding that within that child. Did you know you could do that? You didn't know you could do that. You can do that to you. He's not afraid to be goofy and silly. Ooh, yeah. All right, that's improved. He just wants everyone to be themselves, but to be a better self. That's come a long way. That is a lot better. I think Chris can walk into any room and make even the biggest doubters of music love it. They walk through the door and it's like, bam, there's something's gonna happen today and it's gonna be exciting and the kids are just really drawn to that. Mr. Gleason, it's a very fun band teacher. He's a one in a million. I'm so lucky to be taught by him. He makes it really fun and really cool. If you teach to the heart, the mind will follow. Because if I can get them engaged, curious, hungry, they'll go there. And that's the thing. I think that's the secret right there is the ability to see within the child. You know what I mean? To see the greatness and then be able to kind of tease that out. And then when that happens, well, that's, that's exciting. All right, thanks everybody. We'll see you tonight. Be a good concert. Thank you. I think we often forget what it's like to be a sixth grader with bright lights on a stage. It's our first concert and we're going to be at the high school. So I'm kind of nervous about that. And so how can we break that down and make them feel better? And so with a little bit of uh, humor, we ask the sixth grade teachers, we just give them an instrument and we say, play this. I am Katie Heinrich and I am playing euphonium for the first time. <laughs> And of course, the students hear that and they watch that right before they go on. They're like, I'm better than that, so. <laughs> That's the kind of thinking that he does, that other teachers watch. It's like, what's Chris Gleason's latest idea? Chris sets an example that's so high and he shares all of his knowledge with everybody. The same way Chris lights a fire in his students, he ignites that in educators around him. He's a leader in education. He's a teacher of teachers, if you will. The way that he connects with kids, he connects with parents, he focuses on innovation, and that tends to have just a positive influence, not only in the people around him, but also the school district as a whole. See, I think the problem is that we're worried about scores, we're worried about numbers, we're worried about playing a B-flat scale. So I think as educators, it's really important for us to say, what are we asking them to do, and how is it serving them to become better people? Because if we do that, we're going to end up in excellence somewhere along the way, right? And we're going to go for things that kids really need. Not the things that are easy to measure, but the things kids need. And that's what we have to do. What we create are the conditions for growth. These kids are going to grow, but you get the right conditions, they're going to blossom in front of you. So it's our job as a society, as a community, to find the right conditions. And if we do that, these kids are going to blossom.